patrol vehicle out there, possibly uh, code five. We're gonna find out right now, see what's going on. Las Vegas is egregious in their actions. What's going on? What happened? Class two. Class two? Yeah, just a class two class for two. Um, battery on a, um, on a citizen. Look at my face. And so, because of his actions and the way he's acting, yeah. I couldn't let him just trespass him off the um, property. Thing, so I had okay. to class two. All right. Okay. I've got his stuff in the front what's, seat. What's going on? He was a class two. I figure out. Come on. Coming from a nightclub or what? What happened to your face? Class two, right? Or rather, class five or whatever. Class two means you're uh, in and out, of, in and out of jail. What about class five? What's that? There's no such thing. The threats class. that I've been getting this whole night. The whole night? I mean, I'm not blaming you guys. This is your friend, so you have to take the burden for it. And now you're in jail now. You know this road right here, all the way down to the very end. Medical's gonna screen you. He came in for a simple battery. I guess the officer tried to just let him go, and he didn't want to prove his behavior. He's going to have to be transported to the jail instead of going to the street. So we'll have to watch him, see if he uh, calms down. He looks like he's still a little aggravated. You don't want to tell me what happened to your face? I got violated is what happened to my face. In what way, sir? In the way, bro. Obviously, I'm you not have bro. glass stuck in your face. Okay. So don't ask me any questions, please. I went to Morehouse College, idiot. Sit down and face him, OK? Same place Herman Cain went to. Same place Spike Lee went to. Uh -huh. Some unique with a brain, dummy. Are you done? You don't even have an answer for that. Back your book ass up. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Huh? Get up. Get up. Let's move. Come on. No. No. Take it easy. I asked you to get up, sir. Yeah. Ask first, and then allow me to respond. Get up. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. I'll get up. Come on, take I'll, it I'll, easy. Let me help you. Let me help you. Cause All right, dude. Roll, dude. roll your knee. Roll your knee. You taught me how to walk. You gonna get up? Show roll me your, how roll. to walk. Lift okay. me up, dude. Come on. You gonna be a little baby? There you go, man. Come on. Teach me how to walk. Get back. Get up. Let's move. I asked you to get up, sir. Roll your knee. Roll your knee. You taught me how to walk. You gonna get up? Come on. You gonna be a little baby? There you go, man. Come on. Teach me how to walk. Teach me how to walk. Get back. Make a move. You got me? Stop dancing. Stop dancing. Teach me how to walk. You gonna teach me how to walk? This kid can't teach me how to walk. I teach my son how to walk. Sir, let that go. Come on, do this. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Roll him over. Roll him over. Roll him over. Oh, my neck. My neck. My neck. Hey, come on. Relax your neck. Relax your neck. Relax. No, you're not. All right, listen. We can go out here and put this on. All right. You calm now? Okay. Three. There you go. Fly this way. Relax. Relax. Hey, who was trying to teach me how to walk again? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, he ain't over here talking that <laughs> no more, huh? Lance is my only son. Relax. Uh, do exactly what they tell you to do. Be absolutely calm. We'll have no problems, OK? Every right, hands come free. Place them on the wall in front of you, OK? Once you hear the door click, then you can come off the wall. What happened out there? officer brought him in. He was really upset and belligerent. When he got in here, he was still kind of upset. Just wouldn't answer my questions, and he started getting uh, real verbally abusive towards me. So I told him to stand up. Let's go to the back. And that's when he just dropped his weight. He wouldn't walk on his own, so I helped him up once. And then he started getting squirmy. So we pushed him against the wall, and he started just um, fighting his back. He got it close to me, ripped it up with my pocket. We were able to subdue him finally after the officers had got there. I mean, all this for a class two misdemeanor, which you'd be out in like two hours. All right, good job. Thanks. What did you get arrested for? Guilt by association, apparently. What are they saying you're guilty of? Apparently, my ex-boyfriend, I had went to go rescue him because he called me and asked for a ride. And boom, well, sure enough, apparently, now I'm involved in a series of 406. Burglary. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to change you out of that uniform. So, Please do. You can't be walking around in that uniform. I just wanted to know, what is she here for? Uh, she's here for, she has a uh, robbery warrant out of North Las Vegas. Okay. So, North Las Vegas.
got a warrant out for her arrest, mm -hmm. and we stopped her boyfriend in the car on the freeway, oh. and he had marijuana in the car. And um, he said I was, because we knew the car, you know, she was registered under the vehicle, we knew she had the warrant. So okay. what we did was we just said, well, where is she? She says, oh, she's working at the mall oh. down on the strip. So we went down to the strip and picked her up at the mall. All right, well, thanks. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on. Why do you think you're here? Oh, I already know. You already know? Yeah. A 406, which be a burglary. OK, so you know it's a, actually a, a, a warrant for robbery. So you were saying guilt by association. This is something with your boyfriend? Yeah, he, he had me pick him up. I had no idea what's going on. Yeah, I mean, if you're saying guilt by association, you need to look hard at who your friends are, right? Oh, yeah. My actual goal is to go into Homeland Security. Oh, OK. Well, maybe you'll get this cleared up. So, so basically, I am being charged at this point. You're being charged, yes. Yes. Yes, okay. you're in custody, detained, and charged. Yes, okay. yeah, thanks. Check back on you in a little bit. A little bit of a conflicting story going on there. Pauline is here on a fugitive robbery warrant. She, it's a little more serious than what she originally told me. She told me it was burglary, but a little more serious than that. It's kind of sounding like she's caught up in something a little more complicated than she wanted to tell me about. Let's see what happens. Oh, what's happening, guy? So what'd you do? What do you do? Uh, I, I, I'm in here for a warrant. A warrant, yeah. Uh, a failure to appear? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm homeless. You're homeless? Yeah, I'm homeless. What, what kind of drugs? No, oh, I, I, alcohol. Alcohol? That's it? That's it. And alcohol got you? Well, a uh, little bit of weed every now and then, but... Uh, it's yeah. gotta be some alcohol. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't do no crystal, no coke. No, no hair age, on. No age? No age. No, 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 no spice. Well, no. no OCs? No, no, no. no, no. So uh, you're telling me that you, the only drugs you use is alcohol, alcohol and weed? Dirk, oh. let's go. Picture time. Oh, yeah! Mug shot. Picture taking. Yeah. Right there in the red box. Listen, try to, try to be nice, all right? All right, listen up. Do you have any tattoos? I actually do have one thing you might want to know. Uh, uh, don't show me. Foot. Tell me first. That's a web foot. See how there's only four? All the way from Oh, that. look at that. It really is, isn't it? That's a squid. I've never seen that before. If you move that lint, you got to Do you swim swab? fast because of that? Dude, I can beat I can beat Michael Phelps. I believe it. I put, put your shoe on. I put Phelps in the dust, man. man. All right, have a seat right here for me. Yes, sir. So, Thank you so down, much. Sit down. Right. So, you know, you got booked in for DUI yeah, drugs. That's All right. The story you told me earlier, a yeah. little bit different when I talked to the officer. Oh. Evidently, some people got sent to the hospital. Okay, there was two taxis involved. Both had passengers and drivers, okay? The one taxi driver went to the hospital and they said uh, possibly one or two of the passengers. Um, evidently, you're doing a little bit more than six miles an hour from what they uh, saw at the scene. They actually totaled the front of your car all the way up to the windshield and blew out your windshield as well. Well, okay. is there a 24-hour rental car that you guys could set me up with, maybe? We can talk about that on the way out, all right? I want you to come up and uh, sign for your paperwork, so... Where do I go from here? When you come out here, listen to the rules, okay? Okay? Yeah, so try to, try to get through the process, all right? All right, you. go ahead Thank and step so out here. Right. And trip over those webbed feet. Awesome. First three rows, go ahead and have a seat. No, left side uh, with the boys. Derek seems like he's sobering up a little bit since he came in. He's kind of a character, but hopefully he'll get himself straightened out and get some help for whatever's uh, causing this drug problem of his and keep him from getting arrested when he comes to Vegas. 